everybody my name is Shyam Dangwal today i have a special guest for you Lokesh Lee who is the co-founder of Orange Pot he will be going to talk about his journey and about his startup Orange Pot watch the podcast till end and i'm sure that you will learn various things from him so hi Lokesh first of all welcome to our channel and thanks a lot for accepting my invitation for the podcast I would like to yeah. first of all introduce yourself. Who is Lokesh? Kindly introduce yourself first. Okay, so firstly, uh, my myself Lokesh Lil, and uh, thank you for inviting me, Shivam, uh, to this podcast. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am current now. My name is Lokesh Lil, and I am currently uh, pursuing B.Sc. Physics from Mitabai College in Mumbai, and uh, along with that, I am currently running a startup called Orange Pod. Uh, like it's been. Actually, been it's more than uh, around six months, but uh, this orange pod thing started around three months ago. So, like, uh, what orange pod is starting with the most basic thing. It is a digital marketing uh, studio kind of a thing. But the difference what we are making is, you know, we see that uh, big companies like Nike and uh, Cadbury and all those uh, bigger companies, you know, they have been uh, doing this digital marketing thing from so many past like from past decade, and they are dominating this internet marketing thing. but why are not medium businesses dominating this like why are they not taking the advantage of internet to their business so that's where we came into this picture and uh, we started orange pod where we help uh, not big companies but local shop owners like if there is a saloon why can't he dominate in like using instagram why can't he dominate a local area and you know he can build a customer base attract them bring new customers and also exist like get in touch with the existing uh, customers so that's where we came in uh, and that's what we do at orange pod cool cool so next question is how do you define entrepreneurship to you what is entrepreneurship okay, so is all about for me uh, uh, defining entrepreneurship is very difficult so uh, i can talk about like startup so what you know i read a book the lean startup by eric ries so uh he like defines entrepreneurship uh, this startup very well so a startup is like an institution but with maximum uncertainty but uh, i would not say that a digital marketing agency is a is a you know a, a perfect startup because the uncertainty is very less here like we have we already know that this thing kind of works and it's been have been tried by uh, many other people many many other people like if you go on linkedin uh, search for digital marketers there will be like so so many like but we are kind of creating a difference there because we are not running behind too many you know high ticketing clients what other people are doing so yeah that's i would like to say about startups but entrepreneurship is like it's a very vast topic and it's kind of building things i guess so that would be good yeah so what do you think about entrepreneurship is it about making money or solving individuals problems uh i think it's both uh i we I, of course we can't ignore money because if uh, without money you cannot solve others problems like you if you are solving others problems you get money so the but of course solving problem is the priority not the money because uh money like you get it if you if you give you get the money that's that's not an issue but solving problem that's something entrepreneurship is mainly about if you solve someone problem uh, the other person the person standing in front of you will be happy to give you money okay so uh, as uh, we have discussed about what is orange pod about could you please elaborate more about orange pod and what are the services that orange pod provides okay so like firstly we began around uh, in the start of august last year and after that we went uh, a lot of changes and currently our main uh, usp product is instagram marketing so what we represent is we bring two main things together which is creativity and marketing so you know that this combination is very deadly like uh, if you see an instagram post that is uh, like you can ignore some post very easily but if there is a post which has which is communicating with an audience mm-hmm. plus there is an attractive feature like it is it uh, the design is very good it's very creative so that's where we come into picture we design creative plus 
the creative post with marketing mindset so that's our main usp product along with that we also build uh, websites for businesses like uh, we have clients that we have built websites for them and uh, other than that we also run paid advertisements on facebook and uh, google so this like our our main three services okay so cool so how many members are there in orange pod mainly mean team of orange pod currently we are five members so like uh, we have the founder i am the co-founder and uh, we have an a uh, uh, photographer and we have two designers on team okay cool so what do you think are the essential skills to move into the business or to do some startup in entrepreneurial field okay the main skills uh, you know uh, uh, you okay, have to elaborate uh, this because uh, all the skills are being embedded in yourself <laughs> you have to uh, just elaborate all those okay so first the first and most important thing is to do something you know the hunger i think the hunger to do something that's very important like if you have the idea and all those things that's kind of important but to have that hunger to do something that's very important that like uh, it's a very important skill uh, like it only when times go like if there are, you know, in startup always there uh, comes a time where uh, things go very hard and like sometimes you get get no clients and all those things so at at those times hunger is the thing that pushes you forward to do something and to get you know to achieve those goals and targets that you have set earlier in the starting of the month or year whatever it is so hunger is the most important skill i think it's not a skill but it's it's an asset for uh, you yeah. to be in a startup and other than that i think uh, communication communication is a very important skill like if you have a team communication between all of the team members is very necessary so i think uh, communication and hunger to do something that's uh, like of, apart from technical skills these two skills i think uh, are the most like are the major are the priority in a startup for you if you want to rate about these skills in orange pod like leadership quality negotiation is skills uh, how do you okay. rate these negotiation and leadership skills in an individual like how do you, i rate it for myself or uh, for my team uh, for your team as well okay um see uh, i think for negotiation skills as we say uh, the end results is very important so if you could see that a person has uh, got through a very difficult deal then we can say that uh, he is a very good at negotiation but um, like yeah we can like it's difficult to uh, rate on individual negotiation skills based on the skill itself but uh, we can rate him on the this results what he have got after a deal so i think uh, my team stands i think uh, for around 9 i guess 9 on 10 okay, okay. that's yeah. a very smart answer yeah so and for leadership i think ha uh, huh. please yeah for uh, for one uh, oh, okay so for leadership i think uh, like we are actually 10 on 10 i guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> like uh, the founder we have so he is very he is also very talented and uh, so recently we had a, a a remote worker the designer one the one of the designers she is a remote worker so she works from thane and uh, like she uh, she has a birthday on 26th of january so that day like even though we were facing this dim like we are not yet build uh, you know that big of a company but then to we decided to celebrate her birthday and to send her uh, something through zomato and all those things so that yeah, was cool so it is orange pod a mumbai based startup your startup is yeah. basically basically inclined to mumbai region or you can you may expand to the india and globally okay so uh, we have been in touch with the global clients as well through linkedin like we have recent uh, received leads and uh, got in touch with them uh, so i think we are globally but uh, we are based in mumbai and we have like 95% of our clients from mumbai okay cool so where do you see orange pod after 5 to 10 years okay so after 5 to 10 years firstly i think orange pod would not only be sticking to instagram marketing but uh, expanding to other services as well like uh, that would be our main services as well and also dominating a platform 
that is that that will be coming uh, upcoming in the uh, in the years as we know that web you know web 3.0 is coming up and uh, we are sure about it like it's going to dominate uh, this blockchain technology is going to dominate no doubt about that and uh, the platform that's uh, going to be on the web 3.0 like if instagram adopts to it or any facebook adopts to it uh, so like we have to dominate that market and we have to be like we are making we are trying to make sure that we are the first mover in that industry yeah cool so next question is very much interesting and my personal favorite whom do you follow okay. on social media platforms you think that they are influencing you towards the positive aspect of entrepreneurship kindly name them and specify what you actually uh, learn from them okay uh for on so actually i don't follow uh, much people on social media uh, like i am not that active but uh, i i actually read books so i i like book reading books and i inspire i get inspired from them so the you know for uh, regarding startups i think uh, the lean startup by rick ries that's one of my favorite books and like i just keep reading it and uh, the second thing is uh, you know i uh, i would uh, advise all the viewers and uh, you as well if you want to start a start a startup i would like you to go through a v- youtube video series which is uh, called as how to start a startup by y combinator so y combinator is uh, if you ha- have heard about it y combinator it is yeah, a, uh, you know like a cap- yeah, yeah capital ventilist they like all those people coming together to support startups so now the president is currently sam altman and it was this uh, series was shot in stanford i guess in yeah, 2016 uh, university yeah so that's uh, a very you know uh, like they have uh, covered like the most important aspects of startup so that's a very good series to watch and like good uh, youtube series to watch uh, it's a, and like it's a lecture series and i basically uh, read books so the one i said the lean startup and the second one is uh, the book that i like it's not about startup be, uh, mainly but it's about uh, it's about you getting effective like uh, you building yourself you know so that book name is seven habits of highly effective people by stephen r covey so that these two books like i always keep them on my table and i keep rereading them so i think that what inspires me and uh, builds me up yeah so this was all about the inspiration phase so one message to the youth you want to give who want to do business or start up kindly elaborate okay. this in in a broad way so that each and every audience could relate what you are speaking about like message to the youth who wants to do business or startup okay so um i would uh, see uh, this is a very difficult question because uh, you know in everyone's life uh, the situation is very different like no two people have the same uh, life situations so uh, like they have to deal with it themselves and they know what is important and what should be the priority so you know setting priorities is very important like what do you prefer if uh, like if con- if you consider me for example like i was from my uh, you know parents out like from my parents perspective i was not allowed to start this startup kind of a thing and you know work a uh, full time year uh, living my lectures uh, and all those things and not you know studying further after this bsc course like they wanted me to pursue msc master in science uh, but uh, i didn't want to so it was very difficult for me to uh, convince them so you know everybody have their own problems and uh, situations so the of course the answer uh, you know answer for every other people is different but what i would like to give them all is you know to firstly set priorities according to you not not according to the people that's uh, that are around you like your parents your friends or a- anyone uh, set your pri- priorities straight according to you what you think is should be the should be my priority like if you are thinking to start a startup then then that's the first priority then of course you should give it a try but uh, you know uh, there is a situation and you think that i can wait for around 2 to 3 months and then i do something and then go then find startup like go uh, join a startup or directly start a startup those things so i think uh, like they have to consider themselves the risk what the, what the risk is lying 
बट यू नो एंड वन मोर थिंग आई जस्ट सेड कि यू नो जॉइनिंग अ स्टार्टअप बिफोर फाउंडिंग हिज ओन स्टार्टअप आई थिंक दैट I know how good advice that is because I have uh, I haven't joined any startup. I directly you know founded the startup with my founder, so uh, I don't know how good that of advice is. But I would like to say that wherever you are, what you can do is you can grow. Like like if you are in a college or even in school and your parents don't allow you to start a startup or whatever it is, so you can grow. You like you can read books, you can uh, follow people on social media, and you know. Uh, keep building yourself. Keep building yourself. Get skills, acquire skills, and um, be it coding or anything. Like you can keep your mind broad and uh, start learning things. That's it. When the time right kind of like the time is right, you can uh, you know hit the uh, like you can hit when the iron is hot. But uh, like for you to grow, there is no time. Like you can always grow. Like no matter the situation. So I I would uh, like to give the message that. keep building keep building yourself keep acquiring skills and when the right time comes you should hit the target that's it okay so this was a pretty nice advice to all the youth so one question coming into my mind is that uh, how came the idea of building orange pot into your mind okay so mind and uh, building up a orange pot okay so firstly uh, like as i said ki i am a uh, bsc physics student so i have been into science from long time and i didn't had any idea about this uh, digital marketing startup this uh, idea was completely completely belongs to my founder akash kotian so he uh, actually he has been in this industry for uh, two year for around two years now and uh, like he kind of started this uh, journey around like he was trying to build this team and you know get, uh, getting into the nitty gritties of starting a startup and how we should uh, go ahead and all those things so then he just came up to me uh, about this idea like how we are going to do these things and uh, what uh, is digital marketing because i didn't even knew what is digital marketing so from that period on that time onwards i started learning and building myself and getting you know skills that would be uh, helpful to the startup so from that time like as i said from august last year like we tried doing something or the other things and i with time i uh, tried to get um, you know tried to get as many knowledge as uh, i could and uh, with the time i did actually and as i said 3 months back then we started kind of this orange pot uh, thing in a proper proper manner okay so cool i wish you all the best for orange pot and for the huge growth in the company so okay so it's time to complete the podcast this podcast will be short and we will do further podcast uh, in the future podcast and i have learned various things from you and so my audience as well so thank you so much lokesh for joining the podcast and time is very precious but uh, i would say uh, thank you for having me shivam it's uh, it's it's an honor it's thank you it's my pleasure so thank you bye lokesh bye